Hi, and welcome to the video in which I will show you how to create web forms. What is a web form? A web form is a way to capture information from your website by having a user enter data into fields. Once the form is submitted, the data is directly imported into Zoho CRM. Why do you use web forms? Web forms make it easy for your prospects to contact you during their visit to your website. It's better that you create a web form as soon as your website is ready. We will now show you how to create a web form in Zoho CRM. Once already logged in, click on the Setup section and scroll down to Website Integration. You have three types of forms that you can create in the CRM. Web to Lead, Web to Contact, and for post-sale support, Web to Case. In this video, we are going to focus on the Web to Lead forms, so go ahead and click on Create New Lead Form. In the first section, you'll be using our drag and drop form builder. Simply decide what fields you need by clicking on the field name, holding down your mouse button, and dragging it to the form. If you choose to edit a field, hover over the field name and click on the edit icon. Here, you can choose to make the field mandatory and even add a helpful link for your leads. Click on Advanced Tools on the top left if you wish to add a CAPTCHA to your form which can prevent spam or allow file uploads by your leads. At the top of the form, you will have the options to change and resize the font, decide on colors, and change the alignment and size of the form itself. Once you have decided these options, you may click on Preview to see what the form will look like on your website. Now go ahead and click Next. Under Form Details, the first thing you need to do is name your form. Next, you will decide on the landing page URL. This is the website that the lead is taken to once they submit the form. The location URL is the actual website that the form is on. If you are placing this form on multiple sites, go ahead and place an asterisk in this field. Under Ownership Assignment, you have the option to assign all of the incoming leads to one user or choose an assignment rule. If you choose an assignment rule, you will be allowed to pick an assignment rule that you've already created or create a new assignment rule. It is a best practice to use a rule because it will automatically assign the lead to the proper user based on your own custom criteria in the fields. Next, decide if you want to send a notification to the user and the lead. If the user receives a notification, it will be in the form of an email. For the lead, you have the option to send an email or create an auto-response rule. If you have different types of leads submitting information, choose the auto-response rules so that they receive different emails depending on the criteria of the form itself. The administrator has the ability to manually approve every lead that is imported into Zoho CRM. If you want this option on, click Yes. Now click Save. When the form is generated, you will be able to copy the entire script and place it into your website. We have given you three different forms of the script itself. The embed script, the full source, and the iframe. Select the type of script that you're going to use and copy and paste it into your website builder. Built-in integrations allow you to also generate scripts for Zoho Sites, WordPress, Facebook, Google Sites, and Joomla. Now go ahead and test your form to make sure it is working. The lead has been created in Zoho CRM, and if you scroll down to the email section, you will see that your email has also been sent out. I hope you now better understand how to create web forms in Zoho CRM and found this video helpful.